somebody asked me to say said once on Twitter, I had a request, please say something nice about millennials. <laughs> and, uh, and my response was, in the 1970s, they didn't exist. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, think that, I think that millennials can be educated, but it's an uphill battle. I think that millennials have grown up in a system that tells them that they are each, again, individual precious snowflakes with unearned superiority and self-esteem, and it's very hard to, to take that away from people, because if that's all that you base your virtue on, how you feel about yourself as a person, it's, that, that's, that's hard, that's hard. And so I spend my career making people feel bad about themselves. <laughs> and that's, that's, it actually is it's a life goal. Uh, and, uh, and so far I'm great at it. So it's, so it, but the reason for that is because I believe in earned self-esteem. Do something good for other people, help out your community, produce products and services that other people want to trade you for. Now, now you have earned that self-esteem. I think that you know the, the, the millennials are going to try and craft a world where they don't. This is why they buy into Bernie Sanders, because Bernie Sanders says stupid, stupid things. I mean, he's just, I don't even know. Does he, does he know what century he's in? He, <laughs> he, he says stupid things like yesterday, he tweets it. He creates a world, a fantasy world for himself, fueled by unicorn crap. And, he, and he, yesterday, for, all of his tweets look something like the tweet he had yesterday, which was, the banks, the banks. The banks should not look for profit. The banks should provide loans at very low rates. Right? That's really their goal. And so the entire millennial generation is buying into this because, yeah, wouldn't that be awesome if the banks were just giving away free loans? <laughs> no, you idiots. They were called subprime loans and they crashed the economy. <laughs> the richest people that God ever created, okay, in the richest society that God ever created, and that mankind ever created. When you grow up in that society and you live off the fat of the land, you're gonna, teenagers wanna rebel, young people wanna change the world. What if the world's pretty good? <laughs> what if the United States is a pretty good place? Uh, you know, will they mellow out? I would have said that they would mellow out when they get married and have kids, except they're not getting married and they're not having kids. Right? Getting married and having kids does mellow you out a little bit. You should have seen me before. <laughs> uh, so, it's, so I am by nature a pessimist, which is convenient for me because it means that I'm always right, eventually. Right? <laughs> but, it's, uh, but, I, but I think that, I, I do think that most people have never been confronted with ideas with which they disagree, which is why I think it's important to have discussions like this one. I, I think that there is hope, but it's going to take all of us kind of, any, anybody who believes in these freedoms, you're going to have to walk toward the fire and you're going to have to wrest away that under moral superiority from people. Because that's what they rely on. They don't have to rely on knowing anything or doing good things. They just, they know they're better than you as a human. And when you, and when you take that away from them, then they actually have to start rethinking, okay, well, what would make me better? What do I do that's so great?